Welcome back to Las Vegas. Now, no matter where you are in the world, it is important to protect your skin from the sun, especially right here in the desert. In Around Healthcare, the sponsors of this next segment, they explain. I'm Dr. Shmuel Bhatt, and I'm a medical oncologist with Intermountain Healthcare. And today we're going to talk about some complications caused by sunlight and how to prevent from those complications. Sunlight has ultraviolet radiations, which increase the risk of skin sunburn, skin aging, and can predispose to uh, skin cancers in the long run. So whenever you're planning to go out in the sun, make sure you slide on your sunglasses, slap on your broad brim hat, slip on your clothes, slap on your sunscreen, and seek for the shade whenever possible. UV index is a marker of the strength of the ultraviolet radiations in the sunlight, and uh, those radiations are maximum between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. So whenever you're planning to go out in the sun, make sure you watch for the forecast for UV index, and studies have shown that when the UV index is more than three, there's increased risk of complications from sunlight. Ultraviolet radiations in sunlight increase the risk of skin cancers. So whenever you're looking at a mole on your skin, always watch for any changes. So for example, if there is asymmetry, if the, if the borders are irregular, color is changing, surface is irregular, size is increasing, watch for those changes in a mole. Also, when there is a non-healing ulcer or any non-healing lumps or bumps on your skin, always consult with your physicians to make sure that it's not a cancer. Broad spectrum sunscreens reduce the risk of skin cancer by 50%. So um, whenever you're thinking of applying a sunscreen, make sure sunscreen is broad spectrum. What it means that it should prevent against both ultraviolet A and ultraviolet B radiations. It should be water and sweat resistant and at least SPF 30 or above. As a general rule, whenever your skin is exposed to sunlight, you should apply sunscreen. So it really doesn't matter, you're outside or inside. Windows do not prevent all the ultraviolet radiations falling on your skin. So whenever you're being exposed to sunlight, always apply sunscreen. A lot of my patients ask, do sunburns lead to skin cancer? And my answer to them is yes. Sunburns increase the risk of skin cancer in the future by as much as twice. But also I tell them, you know, you don't have to have sunburn uh, to increase the risk of skin cancer. Sunlight increases the risk of skin cancers even without causing sunburn. So always make sure you protect your skin from the side effects of sunlight. Always use all precautions that we just discussed. Also, if you have ever have any kind of uh, concern about any abnormal spots in your skin, we are here to help you out. Thank you to Intermountain Healthcare for sponsoring that segment. Head to intermountainhealthcare.org slash Nevada for more information. Earlier we heard about